This video features a PID temperature controller, an Arduino, a Linux operating system, USB serial to C program in the Linux computer that writes a text data file, an octave that plots the text data. First an overview and then we'll focus on some details. Here are the components of this project. There's the Arduino, a thermistor circuit and a fan driver circuit. There's the Arduino pulse width modulation signal and the DC equivalent in green. 100 degrees exactly at the moment. 400 milliamps to the fan and to the heater. 15 volts DC for the op amps. Fan driver voltage and Arduino input voltage. Thermistor calibration data, electrical circuit diagram, Arduino process block diagram, the Arduino program, Arduino output, and the program part that implements the PID algorithm, octave plot of the data, rising and falling step responses compared to exponential functions and an old computer running Linux. A previous video provides more hardware details. For this project, a voltage divider was used to reduce the Arduino input voltage to a maximum of 5 volts DC a first order filter converted the Arduino pulse width modulation signal to DC. A non inverting amplifier provided a gain of 2. A voltage to current converter drives current through the fan. An Arduino PID program provides a temperature control. Here's a block diagram of the Arduino program. That's the Arduino input voltage from the thermistor circuit and the Arduino pulse width modulation signal that drives the fan. A calibration formula converts counts to degrees Fahrenheit and a traditional PID controller. Now examine the Arduino PID program. Google search for Arduino PID provides a nice starting point. This was installed as one of the Arduino examples and then the PID program was readily available. A copy of the first was created as version 2 and then modified. The Arduino program similar to the original appears to be trivial but it's quite sophisticated. KP, KI, and KD are specified. Input contains temperature in degrees Fahrenheit. M1 and C1 linearize the raw analog input value. PID calculation occurs in PID.compute, which is in another file. One var is the return value from PID.compute and is iterm, which is the integrator output. Output is calculated in PID.compute and is the value driving pulse width modulation. PID.compute is in the file PID underscore V2 dot CPP. Capital input in the Arduino program becomes little input here. Error is the variable that is driven to zero by feedback, hopefully. Average of two errors should reduce the noise. 
Integrator output is accumulated here. The differentiator output is calculated here, but unused because KD was set to zero. This minimum value keeps the fan from stopping. PID output becomes output with a capital O in the Arduino program. I term is returned to the Arduino program. All of these files are made available in a tar file at that address. Here is the calibration data showing linearization about 100 degrees. In 900 seconds, the temperature is controlled by the PID controller to the set point of 100 degrees. A 50% air block is removed initially, causing the disturbance in temperature. There's the pulse width modulation signal and the integrator output. The temperature is controlled to 100 degrees Fahrenheit plus or minus 0.1 for an entire 900 seconds. That's impressive for an 8-bit output. The temperature is also achieved when a 50% air block disturbance is applied for the entire 900 seconds. These plots were made in Octave from text data files. The text data files were written from the USB serial buffer by a C program. A similar C program is explained in the next video. In order to understand this thermal system that's being controlled, a rising step response is compared to an exponential function. There's the exponential function and the system is similar to but not exactly the same as exponential. And then a falling step response is compared to an exponential function. There's the exponential function, there's the falling step response, it's even less similar to the exponential function. Two PID design techniques failed, Ziegler-Nichols, Cohen-Kuhn, but the brute force technique was successful in finding values of KP, KI, and KD as documented by this video. In summary, an analog PID controller was used to regulate temperature to 100 degrees plus and minus 0.1 degrees. A Linux operating system with Fedora 21 supported the Arduino program C program transferred USB serial data from the Arduino into a text file. Octave was used to plot the Arduino output values.